With seven weeks to go until the US presidential election, Joe Biden holds an 8.5 point lead, according to CG10 analysis, over Donald Trump. But that advantage in the critical battleground states is starting to slip. Here's what you may have missed over the last seven days. As wildfires consumed the West Coast, Trump battled political storms from two explosive publications. An Atlantic report that the president had privately disparaged members of the military and veterans continued to reverberate, while the release of excerpts from Bob Woodward's new book, Rage, set off a fresh cycle of trouble for the White House. Audio of interviews with Trump in February indicated he was fully aware of the dangers of COVID-19, but intentionally played down the risks to the public. It goes through air, Bob. That's always tougher than the touch. You know, the touch, you don't have to touch things, right? But the air, you just breathe the air. That's how it's uh, passed. And so that's a very tricky one. That's a very delicate one. Uh, it's also more deadly than your, you know, your even your strenuous flus. This is deadly stuff. There were also money troubles for the incumbent, who said he was ready to spend his own cash on the campaign and it scaled back TV advertising, spending just $10 million in the past week, despite hauling in, along with the RNC, $200 million in August. Biden has had fewer financial issues of late. His campaign, together with the Democrats, raised a record $365 million in August on the back of his choice of Kamala Harris as running mate and the party's convention. Biden has been campaigning in Michigan and has also refocused efforts on the toss-up state of Florida, where the latest polling suggests Latino voters are leaning towards Trump. The former VP did receive a boost from Mike Bloomberg, who pledged to spend at least $100 million on pro-Biden ads in the Sunshine State. November 3rd is 49 days away, but some Americans are already voting. With one in two voters set to cash ballots by mail this year, the election is very much underway.